Hey, what's up, guys? And what's up, Sussex Squad? Are y'all up? Because, baby, I've been combing Twitter. I've been combing Google. I've been doing everything I can, researching the theories that are floating around about why William has bruises on his neck and why he has goggle suntan uh, outline around his eyes. Spoiler alert. It looks like he was on vacation while his Poor wife is doing whatever she can. I guess listening to those kids run around and Nanny Maria tell George to eat all his peas or he won't be king um, was too much for him. But all jokes aside, so there's this theory going around. Do y'all want to hear it? Of course you do. That's why you're here. And listen, this is speculation. However, there was a lot of speculation online about a lot of things. A lot of speculation is turning out to be true. So do with this what you will, okay? You know that guy, Thomas, uh, Lady Michael Lakent, the racist with the black and more approach? Yeah, her son, gone. At first, they said nothing was suspicious about it. He had a traumatic injury to the head. There was a bang, bang, a firearm found uh, uh, in the room with him. And they said it wasn't su suspicious. But then the coroner of Gloucester County actually opened an investigation. I talked about this in my last video. Go watch them. They're pretty interesting. But let me just get through this because I have to give you the background if you don't know it. So why this is so interesting, right? So anyway, the Spanish media came out and said, so that's, so he was, uh, Michael of Kent, he was the son-in-law, right? So he was like, he married into the family, right? The daughter's the one rela relating, okay? Now, everybody said that when he passed, William was at the same party with them. And he was actually partying with them. They said William was doing the Col Colombian dancing desk. They were having a ball. And then he turned up missing. William pulled out of his uncle's funeral, his godfather's funeral at the last minute, even though he was supposed to read. Now, the British are very much sticklers for um, for schedules and time and all this stuff. For us, we might be like, oh, okay, tell auntie to come up. No, no, no. The British, you know, whenever you go against schedule, they like go crazy, you know, like literally crazy. So for him to pull out the last minute, that was the thing. Okay, hold on. We're getting to the K part. Y'all. Okay, so what does this have to do with Kate? What does this have to do with Rose Hannaberry? Well, let me get to it. Okay, so they were out partying. Now, the thing is, the Spanish media is reporting that they had an open relationship. Okay, now here's where things get weird. The police are saying that there are no suspicious, like, so the police are saying that his passing was, this is Thomas uh, Kingston, right? Saying that his passing wasn't suspicious at all, but they're opening an inquest on Friday to find the cause of passing. Apparently a firearm and a traumatic head injury is not enough for the coroner to actually uh, get the cause of death. You need to do more. Okay. Now, the funny thing is the people are saying that one thing about this guy, Thomas is his friends were saying he was never yellow belly on top of that. They remained childless, childless, but they were happily married until the end. Now they only got married in 2019. So four years, maybe that wasn't enough time for them being, you know, uh, childless before they wanted to start. Or something to this because get this even though they were childless the spanish uh reporters are saying that they had an open marriage he was free to creep around now a lot of people are saying that kate was the one that maybe her and tom were very very cozy very very chatty william didn't like that he found out about something he confronted kate that went horribly. That's the way she's missing. And then it goes on to Thomas that he confronted him at a party and things got out of hand. I do want to say when it comes to someone that has been bred to believe that they are directly descended from Jesus and they can do everything they what, it makes one think, 
If you're really capable and really furious and William is known to have a bad temper, ask his mama, Princess Diana, what are you capable of when you know that you can commit things and you, there will be no recourse? No recourse at all. Let's not forget the police can't go to your residence. You saw what happened with Andrew. They have no power over you. Now, here's where things get a little tricky. Because they said that, um, they said that, uh, listen, they said that Tom and his wife were happy, positive, and that the wife was particularly ch chatty. William had bruise. William looked like he has come from a ski vacation, right? They said that also his friend said, I work with Tom in all sorts of dangerous places. Most of the time we were there in the middle of war zones. He was a risk taker and a person of great faith. They said Tom wasn't a yellow belly. I guess that's the meaning scared like a lizard. He was never scared. I could never say to him, do this. And he'd say it was too dangerous. He was always willing to be there. He was an exceptional man who lit up the lives of all who knew him. His death comes a, a great shock. Now, already, you know, William probably can't even stand him because he everybody thinks he's ex exceptional. So where do, right? So where do the, the Zapatras come in? Well, simply, right? Thomas lives in Gloucestershire or whatever. Three and a half hours away from Norfolk. Now, a lot of people are looking at Kate as the reason William got so upset. But people are saying that you have to look a little bit closer to where William's heart lies, allegedly. William's heart, it's been said, lies. Well, it lies in the garden. You see, William's a bit of a gardener. And William likes rose bushes. Thomas, even though he lives three and a half hours away from Norfolk, is said to also be a fan of the roses that grow in Norfolk. Remember that festival, the EDM festival that Rose Hanterbury had on her estate, right? Hanterbury Hall, whatever it is, right? Um, remember how Kate showed up there and she was drinking margaritas? Oh, Surrounded by a bunch of old guys. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Tom was also there. So people made the connection. Oh my God, maybe William flew in a jealous race over Kate. To which I said, William, to me, the way he's been acting around Kate for the last year, he seems like he would be happy if anybody took Kate off his hands, gave her something to occupy herself, and then he could be free to do what he wanted. Now, the thing is, people said that William was a bit more protective over Rose Hanabury. She is a delicate uh, English rose, don't you know? And they're saying that brave, brave Tom didn't care who the king, the future king, fancied, wanted, or even pruned. And Tom is said to be dashing. He has all his hair. William only has six pieces. They're saying that William, when he saw Tom, confronted him about the Rose Hanabury stuff. It wasn't Kate. People are saying that it was. They had words or something about Rose Hanabury. William and his arrogance, Tom and his, he never backed away from anything. He was a bit foolhardy, if you will. Words for exchange. There were things going on. I don't know what happened. Take it as you will, but there seemed to be bruises. There seems to be a swollen eye on with William and it looks like Tom is gone and the cause of death is mm, they say it's not suspicious but it's unknown how can the cause of death be unknown but not suspicious at the same time don't you need to know how somebody passed away before you can say it's not suspicious I don't know I'm not a police officer on the scene but one would think in the movies when you confront someone and they are stronger, braver, foolhardy even. And they have more hair than you. And you confront them and try to make them bow down to you. And they laugh at your face. And, you know, they're a bit tipsy on lots of things. And people are watching, so they laugh in your face. 
So what do they do in the movies? They go and get the pow pow, right? And before you know it, the person that could have beat you in a fair fight is lying on the floor. Now, listen, this is just speculation. I'm just telling you what Twitter says. Now, we will know an inquisition is being opened, I believe, um, Friday, if it hasn't already passed. Yeah, it was opened yesterday. Again, can someone, I don't know how things go in the UK. Maybe this is something lost in translation, but honestly, how can you, the cause of death be unknown, but it not be ruled suspicious? I don't know. In any way, right? In any way, I just want to say, what do you guys think about this? I think if you take out Kate's name and put in roses, it makes sense. Because let's be real. William stopped caring about Kate. Well, I don't know when, but he seemed really, really, really sick of her this last year. I mean, really sick. Probably that's why it looks like he's been on the slope skiing and has a little windburn and sunburn uh, from being on the slopes because probably maybe he enjoys this little vacation. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later, okay? This is going to be a heavy upload day today and tomorrow because there's so much going on in Royal News. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, no, I'll talk to you later. Bye.